Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Arcane Hulk here today, and I finally have it. Part 4 of my Crota Zen walkthrough. Today, I'm going to be going over how to kill Crota with you. So, in this video today, we are going to be using what's called the middle strategy. So first, at the very beginning, you're going to want to all huddle around the crystal to get the fight started. And then you're just going to want to slay out all of these adds on either side. So just make sure you kill, there are going to be two knights on each side and about, I want to say about 10 acolytes. So just slam out, and as soon as you get out, as soon as you break out of this beginning spawn area, you're going to want to take down the sword bearer as fast as possible. And the easiest way to do that is just have, I was running Striker Titan, so I'd stun him, and then everyone just shot a Gallowhorn rocket at him. It takes about, a few, it, take, it takes only a few seconds to get the sword bearer down, and that's what you really need is timing on this part. So my buddy Debop, he was our level 31 Titan running the sword. And basically what he'd do is he'd jump up on the right rock on the right side over there. You'll be able to see his name when he goes up there. And he'd jump up there and he'd tell us when he was ready. So he'd say, okay, I'm going up now. And all we did, because it takes about four or five Gallowhorn rockets, depending on how many level 30s you have with you, to bring down Crota's shield really quickly. So right here you're going to see, he's going to say, okay, I'm ready. Then everyone just shoots their rockets at him. And there he goes down instantly and that he gets about four smashes down. Now, if you're spec you have faster uh, melee speed and then you can bring it down even faster than that so just be aware of that another good trick is for hunters if they want whenever they hide they can go invisible and then they can move up there earlier it'll buy them a little bit of time that's probably the easiest way to go but if it is doable with the titan or a warlock a warlock would probably be a little bit easier than a titan too because they can self revive say if that happens then they can help focus on oversoul with you guys but another thing i want to ah sorry about that Another thing I want to mention is the Oversoul. So as soon as you leave the spawn area, if someone dies, what's going to happen is Crota will summon his Oversoul. It's that big eye in the sky that's right there on my screen. It will become inflamed and engulfed in flames, I guess you could say. And you just shoot at it, and with enough DPS, you can get it, and it will be destroyed. Uh, another important thing I want to explain is how to regen health. So a lot of you that have probably played the raid already, you'll know that you have a debuff called Presence of Crota. Whenever Crota is around, you cannot regenerate health. But if you are using Red Death, for every kill you get, it will regen your health. So that still works. But the Hunter's Hungering Blade, that does not work, so don't worry about that. Um, Hunter class setup, I recommend Shadow Jack and whatever allows you to turn invisible. That's what we use to help get revives down in case anybody needed to, and it was really helpful in the long run. As for titans, I like the stun grenades. They help stagger the ogres a little bit. One titan with stun grenades and one titan with weapons of light or some type of War of Dawn variant is very strong. Warlocks with Voidwalker and Radiance. As long as you have one of each, that'll be perfect. But that's pretty much it for that part. So as soon as you get out, you kill that sword barrier, you're going to run down to this middle area where we are. And you're just going to hide in this area. The thralls almost never come down the stairs. And if they come down, they'll swipe at you once and then they'll back up real quick. So it's not really much, too much to worry about right there. And that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm forgetting. But yeah, okay. So recently there was a cheese method discovered. Um, that will help you so where you don't need the chalice to regenerate your health. So basically all you have to do is everyone on your team wipes. And as soon as the countdown timer, you know how it goes from 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As soon as it hits 0, have your warlock use radiance. And then that will, he can revive everybody and that gets rid of the debuff for the entire round. So if you guys are struggling a little bit, you could try that. I haven't done it myself, but I have seen proof of it. My buddies have done it. And it looks like it's a legitimate tactic. So if you guys want to try that out, it can be really, really helpful. You don't have to focus on the chalice anymore. But I still pick up the chalice just in case something bugs out or goes glitchy a little bit. But yeah, it took us about 11 minutes to finish the whole fight. I know some teams have beaten it in like less than 3 or less than 4, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, we did it with about 5 level 30s and level 31. I just wanted to make sure I get this video out to you guys and... For everyone who's just waiting to kill Crota for the first time. My loot drops at the end. I think everyone gets the exact same loot drops. I ran it on all three of my characters and got the same thing. Except for the weapons. They were different. I got the emblem. The Crota's Bane emblem I believe it was called. Then I got the shader called Cryptographic. Or something along the lines of that. And then I got the rocket launcher. The, I don't know, called the something of Crota. And then I got the... Sniper rival called Black Hammer. Black Hammer is freaking sick. All of the weapons in this new raid look freaking cool. 
But um, no exotic drops from the chest or anything. If you guys want, I know that the videos are already out for the chest locations, but if you guys want me to post them as well, just let me know down in the comments section. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. So just a basic recap. Two knights on each side of the spawn room. About 10 acolytes on each side. Slay them out. Jump out. Stun the sword bearer. One rocket apiece. Take him down really quickly. Person with the sword. As soon as he gets the sword, he calls out when he's ready. Everybody fire Gallahorns at Crota. Bring him down really quick. You want to get between 3 and 4 R2 smashes when you have the sword. So it's just R2, 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 R2. I know a lot of people are using the combo at first. But that doesn't do nearly as much damage as just constant smashes with him. So yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I'll just let it play out here till the end. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped about that, pretty excited. Just, I don't know what to say. Thank you for the support, guys. Thank you for liking my videos that I put out. It really means a lot to me. Um, any comments on how I can improve? I know I have gotten a few comments about my mic. I'm using the Turtle Beach uh, PX22s. So I'll probably look into upgrading, probably around income tax time or something, maybe get some Astro A40s. I've been looking into those for a while now too. But yeah, it's it's incredible. I never thought I'd make it this far. But like I said, I just can't say thank you enough. You all have a nice day. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Share it with your friends. Help me grow some more, a little bit more. And I'll just, I'll try my best to keep delivering the best content I can. And I just want to send a quick shout out to my friend Feenan. He's always watching my videos. He's always helping me do what I need to do. He talks a lot of smack, but he's a cool guy, and I know he doesn't mean it all. But just thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Y'all have a nice day, and good luck on your loot drops from Crota. May R and Jesus bless you. <laughs> all right, see you guys later. Everybody has the rockets ready, right? Go debuff, go now, 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 now. We got him right here, guys. We got him right here. Bring him down again. He's down, debuff, he's down, he's down. Just come back, just come back, debuff. Stay alive, stay alive, come back. We have ogres next. Synthesis. We got it right here. We just need one sword. I always be coming here now. I think now's a good time to drop the shield, dude. That's my fault. I just wanted to make sure it was here on time. I got black hammer. I got black hammer. Let's see. 
black hammer looks pretty sick. Dude, this sniper rifle is sick.